Hello everyone, and welcome back to another little bit of a news video for Planet Zoom. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys back here for the Stripe Skunk reveal. Yes! So we finally have our first official look at the Stripe Skunk for Planet Zoo. Now this is really interesting, because we have not had an official mod release of the Stripe Skunk just yet. And, I don't know, I just always find that super cool. Like, all the other animals, except for the bat, really, have been made into mods, so this is just really, really interesting. Uh, looking at the skunk reveal, of course, we have a beautiful little screenshot right here. Frontiers always tip of the top on their screenshot game. And you could really see just, like, how gorgeous this animal is. What I'm super interested to see is how, like, you know, that fur is going to work on that tail. You can kind of see that it really very much follows the line of the skunk, if you see what I mean. Uh, especially on the tail. You can see that on the top of the tail where all the white is, it's kind of like angled backwards. Meanwhile, on the bottom, it's very much kind of like flowing downwards with gravity. I'm very interested to see what that is going to prove in terms of like, you know, rigging and modeling and stuff like that. But still, it's a very gorgeous animal and you can kind of get a good scale of how big this animal is going to be by the size of the leaves on the side, which do seem like they might be flexi color. I'm not really sure. I'm taking a little bit of a deeper look at that. I really hope they are. I really freaking hope they are. Uh, but still, it's a really gorgeous animal, and I'm super excited to play with these guys. I don't know. I just hope you guys enjoy this one as much as possible. And can also see a nice little view at that twisted tree in the back. Uh, I think that is the bristlecone pine, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I really hope that is going to be a really useful piece. But speaking of useful pieces, we also were solved the issue of the missing jack-o'-lanterns. Of course, Bernie left them in his office. Uh, of course, that's just great. Uh, and we also have a look at some very interesting props in here as well. Uh, I can already see the jack-o'-lanterns. It's going to be super cute. Uh, I just got back from the zoo today, and Roger Williams actually does have the jack-o'-lantern spectacular. So we actually have a yearly event that incorporates jack-o'-lanterns and stuff like that. That's going to be super awesome. Just having like our regular zoos and whatnot, so it's going to be super cute. Uh, we also get another look at, like, that light over towards the left. That's going to be super interesting. Probably not a piece I would use all too much, but hopefully it has some good uses. And we also get these creepy-looking eyes in the back. Those are going to be really funky to play around with. Uh, and we also have this really mysterious plant bulb down towards the bottom right. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see that, but that will be very interesting just to see how that comes into play. Uh, we can also see some branches throughout this screenshot, and we also get that beautiful, beautiful windmill in the back. Uh, not sure if that's one big piece or if that's going to be a blueprint, but I'm super excited just to see how that comes into play. And again, we get another view at like this little castle set, uh, very much like Castle Braun in Romania. Uh, but it's a really beautiful set. I can't wait to see what we actually are able to do with that. If it's flexi color, yada, yada, yada. The buttresses. You know, you guys know I'm a butt man. The buttresses uh, on the top right over there. <laughs> they look super interesting. Uh, probably not my kind of style of building. But I really do hope those pieces are able to come in clutch. In terms of like, you know, maybe the texture on them. Maybe. I'm thinking of like how the small sides of the pieces will be able to help us in the end but that's really it for our reveals today that is pretty much it i'm very excited to see where this leads up to with like the release on tuesday which by the way go wish list this down in the description down below and always does help out frontier it lets them know that we really do care about the longevity of this game and even if like a pack like this which you know a lot of the community kind of considers little weak uh it keeps them knowing that there's still interest in this game uh and that's something i always find super important so even if you don't buy it just make sure to wish list it show engagement and just help us preserve planet zoo for as long as we possibly can but thank you guys so much for watching you guys are always the best and i can't wait to see you guys in the next news reveal i think which would probably be the dev diary so i'll see you guys all tomorrow in that case have the most wonderful of wonderful days and enjoy